क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल सी द डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस टू फाइंड द करेक्टनेस ऑफ फिजिकल इक्वेशन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ दिस एक्चुअली द डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस इज डिपेंड्स ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ होमोजिनेटी इन दिस केस इन केस ऑफ फिजिकल फॉर्म्यूला द डायमेंशन ऑफ ईच टर्म शुड बी सेम this is the principle and on the basis of this principle we have to find out the correctness of the equation let us consider first equation here we have equation s is equal to ut plus half at square this is the equation of displacement now in this equation we have u u is the initial velocity t is the time then plus half a is the acceleration t is again time let us check what how many terms are involved in this equation so here we have a first term this is the first term ut will be now second term and at square this entire thing will be now third term as per the principle each term should have same dimensions then only we can say this equation is dimensionally correct so let us start with the first one s is a displacement and we know what are the dimensions of displacement so we'll start dimension that is l m and t displacement we measure in the length so this will become l1 there is no mass and time factor so we'll take m not and t not so this is the dimension of first term now let us start to find what is the dimension of second term that is ut we know u is the velocity that is initial velocity and t is the time so the velocity is displacement per unit time or distance per unit time into time so this time factor will get cancel here you have distance now we know the dimension of distance is l hence the dimension of second term we can write l1 again in this term ut there is mass and time both are absent so this will become m not t not so the dimension of second term is l1 m not t not let us find out dimension of third term third term is half at square we know half is a constant so it doesn't have any dimension now a is a acceleration acceleration we can write velocity per unit time into t square this t square now velocity is nothing but distance per unit time so we will write down distance per unit time and this time is also there so this is t square into t square again this t square will get cancelled so here we have only the quantity that is distance and we know dimension of distance is only l so the dimension of third quantity third term that is half at square will be l1 again m and t both the factors are absent so this will become zero so if you observe this equation this is the dimension of first term this is the dimension of second term and this is the dimension of third term all three terms having same dimension means this equation is dimensionally correct thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and please subscribe ikida thank you